Okay, so let's do an exercise. Let's do a movement. So once again, we can start with this, this movement. You know, you can go, and this is a good one to do strength structure state. You just go strength with your muscles here. Yeah? Hold, hold strong, stop me. Yeah, go strength, and I start to push with my muscle force against him. Feel how that feels. Then you can go into structure, center and center structure, and then use the rotation of the movement. Rotation, yeah? yeah? Center, center structure, rotate the joints, yeah? And then state. So now you're bringing together everything, centering, sensing, sinking, seeing, and then moving from there. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. So everything now. You're going to have to get into that how you get into that. Some people get it through alignment with intention. Some people get it through centering. Others can access it through sensing. Meaning, oftentimes I've seen over the last you know, decades or so of training that people tend to have a way they get into it better, one or the other. But ultimately, you want it to be all of it so that you can just move, yeah? You can just move, yeah? Hold tight, stop me, yeah? yeah? So rather than using force, center, sense, sink, see their center, and then from there, just move, yeah? Just move, yeah? Just move while maintaining the state as best as possible. Now, you can do it with any movement. It doesn't really matter at all. It can be like, it can be like uh, the double bong sao from Chunk Yu. Center, sense, sink, see. Double bong sao, yeah? It can be the double uh, tan sao part. It can be any movement from Wing Chun. It can be any movement in general. So you just get them to hold, you know, it could be uh, an overhand right, for example. So I could be throwing an overhand right like this. So it's like this, yeah? Coming over the top, yeah, for example. And you do that with strength, with structure, and then with state, center, sense, sink, see, and then come over the top, yeah? So it could be any movement. It's just physical movement, right? And you're trying to apply the state into that. So do it with a punch. Do it with whatever movement you like. Get your partner to hold the same pressure each time. So Carson, your, your turn. Yes. Oh, yeah. So Carson could be just moving his hand like this, right? Yeah. He can go with strength first and just push with strength here. Yeah. Yeah. So just don't. So, so do think about it. So it's rather than tensing up on the spot, they're moving. Go to do the movement, right? So go to do the movement right. while sensing your muscles. That's a different feeling. Yeah. So see how your muscles. That's much more robust. Yeah. yeah? You don't just tense up on the spot. You know, because that's you know you wouldn't do that. You'd actually try to push through it. Yeah. It's like trying to move a weight. Yeah. Like this. So you can feel it's quite. Yeah. You know, it's quite forceful. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Yeah. And he'll feel there's just like a push back with each other. Yeah. And then, and I'm trying to hold the same pressure from each time. Then from here he goes into state, he centers. So let that muscle force go, let the muscle force go. Yeah, yeah he centers, he centers his space, he sinks down and releases, he sees where he's going to the target, then he moves, yeah? That's better, that's better, yeah? Center, sense, sink, aim, and then move, yeah? So yeah, it's much better, yeah, yeah. So you're looking to manifest and maintain the connection to state whilst moving. You have all the frameworks now. You understand the theory. You know what's going on there. And now it becomes time to practice. You do it in your forms. You can do it in strength structure state. You do it in your looks out. Looks out becomes a very important tool for this. Um, that's a whole nother kind of lesson. So, you know, I'll probably make, well, I definitely will be making that video as we go further through the step and step by step curriculum. So how to apply the state in looks out to, um, to build connections and release tension in your body. So that's, that's a further lesson. We won't be going through that today, but there are other tools that you can use to bring the state into your system, such as looks out, your chi sao as well. So there's all these different places that you want to work to, to manifest the state and bring it into your way of being so you can truly say, I am a Silent Tao. Okay, any questions, you know where to put them. If you have not joined the community yet and you want to go further and deeper into the internal power of uh, Kung Fu, then uh, go to the link in the description below and I'll see you in our next video.